this morning. Happy Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I've got the best card for you today. So I told you last week that I was going to use the Pretty Label Punch to help make clouds. So that's what we're doing today. Um, making clouds is very easy. And I'm going to show you how to do that using the Pretty Label Punch and a sponge. And we're also going to use the retired stamp set again over the moon with the cute little cows. All right, so I don't see anyone this morning. That's all right. I'm sure Kim will be here. Or hopefully Kim will be here this morning, but that's okay. We'll wait for her for a little bit. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina, and I love to help paper crafters make a difference with their card making. Um, you see, I knew Kim would be here this morning. Good morning, Kim. <laughs> um, I'm going to show how to make clouds today. So, and I was just mentioning that uh, this is uh, who I am, Christina Reese. And if you've missed any of these, I'm doing a card a day in the month of May. If you've missed any of these uh, videos this month, they're all on my YouTube under a card a day in the month of May, or also here on my Facebook Live, my Facebook page under videos. So let's get started. All right, so like I said, we're going to be using this retiring set again over the moon. Today we're going to use this cute little guy with the flower, and we're going to use Cows It Going again, because I, like I said, I'm sending out lots of cards. I hope you are too to everyone who just can't get out and needs a little encouragement these days. All right, here is the Pretty Label Punch, and this is retiring, so um, if you need a cloud punch or a pretty label punch, uh, be sure to put this on your order and get it in before the end of May. The way we do this is <clears throat> to make this card, to make a cloud stencil first. And so I need um, about four of these clouds or these pretty labels. And what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, arrange them and glue them onto a strip to make like a scallop border, okay? All right, so I have I have this one piece here that I'm gonna be gluing them onto. And here's my glue. And just put a little back there. And the reason I use glue, I had tape on my first one. And of course, with all the rubbing with the sponge, it, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a frog in my throat. <clears throat> I kept pushing them off, so there's one. Now this next one, um, if you just put them all in a line, it looks kind of uh, different. So I'm going to put this one up a little bit. Okay. And, and kind of watch where they connect. Oops, I think I got glue on my scratch paper I did. That's okay. There we go. All right, and... I'm gonna come back down with this one. I'm gonna glue it on that side this time instead of the, okay. There we go, and then one more, even though I'm going over the edge, that way I can move the stencil um, different positions around the card. Whoops, yeah, you know what? Um, all right, no biggie. Um, just come down a little bit. Mm, right there, that looks good. All right. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. All right, so I do have a little sticky on the back of that. That's all right. Um, and if you don't like your sticky, I do have a trick for that. You can use your embossing buddy, the little talc. It's got talc powder on there, and the powder sticks to the sticky. And then, yeah, that's what I was at that not stick in there. All right, there we go. Okay, now we have our little stencil here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get something for that. Hold on just a sec. I need my embossing buddy. So whenever you get it, he says, oh, hey, good morning, Danelle. Hello, you finally got me live. Awesome. If you ever get sticky on the back of something and you don't want it, just take the embossing buddy. It's got baby powder, or not baby powder, talc powder in it. Um, and just, 
the powder just sticks to that sticky and it's not sticky anymore. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we've created a scallop border to make a cloud stencil, okay? So this is how you make clouds. First, you need your card base, okay? And I, this is just four and a quarter by five and a half. It's just a quarter sheet of white paper because I'm going to be trimming it down, but I want to create the clouds before I trim it down. And you just kind of put it wherever you see. It's longer than the card, so you can move it around. Also, it's longer. And you'll want to put this in a safe spot when you're finished with it and just use it every time because it is, it's the perfect uh, cloud maker. All right, here we go. We're going to be using Pacific Point ink. And you will need a sponge, okay? And the reason I use this instead of a dauber is because I can like pinch it really, really tiny or I can make it really fat. So lots of stuff. Also, you don't really want to go around in circles. You're going to be going up and down, okay? And we have scratch paper over here because it's always so dark when you first use it, okay? And we're just with a super light touch, okay? And I'm going to get all of the sky up here, okay? And I'm just kind of dabbing it. Okay, and then as it, okay, and just kind of, and if you want it to kind of blend it a little bit, you can spin it. All right, now it's looking a little better. Cool, huh? <laughs> All right, so that's just the first step. Now, okay, we're going to move our stencil. over. All right, so our clouds aren't the same direction. And this time we're going to just do a little bit. We're not going to even hardly... Cool, huh? <laughs> Starting to look like clouds. Now, here's another trick. You can flip it over so you get a different direction with the clouds, all right? Here we go. And I'm just going to use the ink that's on there because it still was kind of... Okay. Pretty cool, huh? And just keep going. Just keep going. Here we go. Get a little more ink on there. So when you kind of pop it up like that, and then go back and kind of blend it. There we go. Cool, huh? I just love this. This is just the neatest trick. I love this. All right, I'm going to flip it back over the other way. Okay, we actually could overlap it a little bit like that, okay. Okay, cool, huh? All right, and yeah, let's... Let's come over here. And you can get where there's no ink and kind of, if it's like making too many streaks. For some reason my sponge is like making little extra lines, but that's okay. All right, how much more do I need? I need a uh, room for grass down here. So I think that's as far as I want to go with my clouds. All right, what do we got? We got some co comments here. Well, first of all, Colleen is here. Good morning, and so is Dorothy. And Danelle says, so pretty. All right, yes. So this is how you make clouds. It's so simple. So we created a stencil with our pretty label punch. Okay, and we just glued them onto a strip to help hold on and you flip it back and forth and you just use a sponge to put your ink on there. Pretty cool, huh? Now, we're going to finish this card real quick. 
I told you I was using over the moon cows it going and so we need some grass and I'm going to use the <clears throat> light granny apple green here and I'm just gonna kind of do that and then come in here and just color the whole bottom whoops This is I hope my granny apple green isn't running out. It feels like it is. There we go. Now, alcohol, it, you see the streaks now, but the more you color it, the alcohol will blend and not leave streaks, and as the alcohol dries. There we go. Now it's starting to color out. I, I guess my tip had started to dry out a little bit. I'm not sure what was going on there in the beginning. Okay. And I kind of made a nice smooth hillside there. Okay, now we got that. We have the cute little grass stamp here with the granny apple green. And we're going to go in with the dark here in just a sec. There's one two, three. I've got a little blue here. Must have come off on the back of the card. That's okay. My cow will cover that up. All right. We're done with three little spots there and the dark. All right. Here's the dark and I'm just going to go in here and color that in. Okay. And like I said, I kind of go past where the stamp is. All right, there we go. All right, so we have grass, we have sky. Now let's put this to the side for a sec and let's make a cow. <laughs> make sure that fits. Yes, it does. Now there are not any cow stencil uh, die cuts, which I really wish there were because we cut these out all the time. I love them. These cows are so cute. Okay, there we are. And now we're going to color our cow and we are going to fussy cut it. So we're going to do like yesterday's cow. We're going to do the gray, a gray cow. So let's take the light and color in his little dots. Oh, I keep forgetting to look for comments. What color stamp pad did you use for the clouds? I use Pacific Point, Colleen, Pacific Point. I'm using the colors from the Bright family, um, the Brights. I like trying to stay in one family of color. That way, um, if you are, you know, if you get all the colors in one family, you can make a lot of cards. Um, like I said, we have over 50 inks, so to buy all the inks at once, that would be crazy. <laughs> but, um, oh, and his little nostrils. Oh, and his little tail. Okay, he's got a little tail here. And the dark. Okay, and go back over it. Okay, that's all done. Now his little um, face here. Oh, I was gonna go with flirty flamingo, but that's not right. I want petal pink. Yeah, petal pink is more of a skin tone than flirty flamingo. Flirty flamingo is for inside his little ears. So you have the dark and the light. So we're going to color his little snout with the light. And 
and then go in with dark underneath his nostrils, underneath his mouth, and then kind of back behind the flower there, and behind the leaf. Okay. Now petal pink for his little ears. And his flower. I'm just coloring the inside of the flower, not the petals. The petals are going to stay white. It's a white daisy. And the green for the leaves. Check my comments here. Oh, hey, Cindy. Good morning, girl. Hello, hello. All right. Um, oh, his little boots. So he's wearing little galoshes. And I'm doing uh, Poppy's Parade. Uh, is that right? Yeah, Poppy Parade. All right, and oh, he's got little horns. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to make them gray. Let's make them brown. Let me grab, um, which one's this? Yeah, crumb cake. Crumb cake's a good color for horns. All right, so now his little horns are colored. Okay. And fussy cut, and I still have not found my snips. Um, these are an old pair of snips, and they're not, they're sharp, but the reason why I don't like them as well is because the, whoops, where's my camera lens here? Oh, there you go, you can see it right there. You can see it doesn't have a sharp point, and so you can't get into the corners very easy with this pair. That's why I love our, our snips, but I cannot seem to find them. I'm definitely going to have to buy myself another pair. So frustrating. I don't even have children to blame it on. I have a husband, but I don't think he took my snips. I don't think he ever comes in here. I really, I, my cat, he could have like batted him off the desk and then pushed him under something, I guess, maybe. <laughs> I have just have no idea where my snips are. It's so frustrating. How we doing? Oh, would also work with cloud in the cloud stamps above the clouds. Yes, yes, it would, Dorothy. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, um, like I said, all you need is a stencil um, to create, you know, a cloud stencil. And then go with the sponge and just keep moving it back and forth and upside down. Ooh, not upside down. Uh, turn it over. <laughs> and you'll create the, the cloud pattern. It's really fun. And you can also use gray instead of blue and make it a cloudy, you know, a dark, rainy sky. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. but <laughs> I guess if you were making a rainy, a rainy card. All right, and notice how I kind of cut off as I'm, as I'm coming around these pieces instead of having all this excess paper back behind my scissors, I just trim it as I'm coming off. So there we go. All right, he's cut out. And now let's bring our cloud back. Okay, so he's going to have to stand right there because I had that um, right there. All right, so there we go. There we go. So cute. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's put this card together. Okay, one more uh, review. So I punched out four of the clouds with the pretty label punch. I created a scallop border. I went through here and I turned it over and I used the, the sponge to create my background. Colored my grass. Um, made my little cow. Now we're going to bring in, so I painted his little galoshes, or I colored his little galoshes as Poppy on Parade, and then I have the Brights designer paper I'm trying to use up. 
And I also cut a Poppy's Parade a base, card base there, all right? And next is to give this a little interest, we are going to cut out our cow like that, all right? So let me run this through the die cut machine real quick. There we go. These uh, layering rectangles are so awesome because, you know, you could just cut it in a rectangle. It'd be no big deal, but these have a little stitched edge to them, so it looks like it's sewn on there. It's so cool. It just gives it just a little more detail. There we go. All right, let's get our tape runner out. And here we go. So we're going to tape on our gingham. And also, if you love gingham paper, our next, <clears throat> excuse me, our next uh, colors uh, designer papers, like this is the Brights designer series paper, The ne in our next catalog, we don't have gingham. So if you love gingham, go to the shop and order, they come in every color. So you can order the Brights, the Settles, the Neutrals, so you can have like black and white, you can have brown and white. Um, all this gingham paper. It's so cute. <clears throat> it will not be available in June. I really need to get some water or a throat lozenger. My, my voice is going away. All right. Oh, so cute. And of course, our little cow has to be up on dimensionals. Okay, he's stuck on there and almost done. We need to put in cows it going. Where's my black mementos? Whoa, not on the guard, on this strip. There we go. Yeah, this is very difficult with that. See, when I have the pointed snips, I can just snip right up there. Well, that, that one worked okay. I just, I really miss my Stampin' Up! snips. I gotta find them. Ooh, I am shaking again. You girl, ladies, um, I do Facebook Live every day and I do YouTube, but I still get nervous in front of the camera. <laughs> and I just shake. Oh, all right. Cat, was it going? Oh my gosh, it's so precious. I'm so sad this stamp set's leaving us. I mean, I have it, so that's great, but I want all of you to have it. It's such a fun stamp set. Yes, Dorothy, I think so too. Um, I like red galoshes. <laughs> and this Poppy's on Parade is just a pretty red. Ah, oh, what do y'all think? It's not quite done. It needs a card base. Okay. I'm going here in my... I forgot, I forgot to pull one out earlier. No, no problem. Now, uh, usually I score my card and fold it, but because I didn't, um, you can just do that. Pinch it in the center. Mm -hmm. And then use your bone folder. Whoa, come here. It has a white border around it, which I like, you know? There, yeah, much better, okay. And lately I have not been making my cards very thick. I did, like I said, my mother's, uh, my mother and daddy's Easter card was returned to me because it was too thick and it didn't go through the mail slot. Um, it required 15 cents more postage, so if you make your cards too thick, and don't put enough postage on them, they will get returned to you, so be careful. So I only have this one-dimensional thick. Remember, quarter inch is all it can be. 
<laughs> Whoops. What do you think? Isn't it pretty? I like it. I like it. <laughs> you guys are so awesome. Thank you so much for joining me this bright, beautiful Tuesday morning. Um, remember, if you have any other card tutorials you'd like to learn, uh, today I was teaching you how to create this pretty cloudy sky background. Um, but just let me know. And also, if uh, I'm sending out my newsletter today, so uh, it'll be later this afternoon. If you're not on the newsletter, if you'd like to get that, it always has a free card tutorial in it and also all kinds of information that's good. Be sure to sign up for that. All right. Do you all have anything else you'd like to say? I know that we're on delay, so I'll give it a sec, but I really appreciate you all being here and um, thanks so much for watching see who else oh i have deborah stout here hey i didn't even see your name it was with uh, all the dorothy's let me go through here and see if anybody else showed up that i didn't say hi to i said hi to cindy yep and colleen oh here's melissa hello melissa and danelle and kim awesome thank you all so much for showing up this morning i so appreciate you and with that, I will say bye-bye. See you tomorrow morning.